to today's video. Today's video is possible and sponsored by MSI who kindly provided this beast of a graphics card to make today's video possible. This is the Gaming Trio X. This is an RTX 2080 Super and it is super super powerful. There'll be a link down below as to where you guys can grab this for yourself but again a massive thank you to MSI for making today's video possible. Now for those who might be interested in joining the RTX Ray Tracing Beta, it's really simple to join. First off, you are going to need the Xbox Insider Hub app. This is completely free to download from the Windows Store. After that, tap on these three lines, then go to Insider Content. Now if you are familiar with Minecraft betas, you'll know exactly how this works. You are gonna, of course, need Minecraft Windows 10 for this to be possible. Once you tap on this, uh, tap on Manage. If your Manage is not here, it will be up here. For me, it's down here. Now, there's three different options this time. One of them is to unenroll, which of course takes you out of the beta experience. One of them is the 1.16 Nether beta as I'm making this video. And the one in the middle is Minecraft Windows 10 RTX beta. Experience new ray tracing features textures for Minecraft Windows 10. Now, I'm already in this, so I'm not gonna have to rejoin. I do wanna mention if you are currently in the Windows 10 Nether beta, you are gonna have to uninstall to then join this one, right? Let's go to the game. So today's video will not feature webcam. I feel like the webcam will be a little bit of a distraction from focusing on how beautiful Minecraft ray tracing truly is. Now I've had the pleasure of exploring this for around about four hours. We spent a lot of time on live stream checking out how incredible this truly does make Minecraft bedrock. Now I will show you guys a little bit of gameplay towards the end of just Minecraft ray tracing in ordinary games because for this current beta, the Minecraft team and the Marketplace partners released, I think it's five or six different maps that you are able to explore. So if you just type in RTX, these are the maps that are available. Now the cool thing about this is every single one of these maps offers a very different experience when it comes to ray tracing, which means there is gonna be many different options for ray tracing when it does officially released. We're gonna start with this one, which is what you've seen in the introduction to today's video. So a couple of things I wanna start with. The first thing that I noticed when I explored this for the first time was kind of the blocks. Now they have something which I believe is called map bumping, which kind of makes the blocks stand out a little bit more. Now of course, we have this glow effect around the block. You can see here, every single direction has different forms of shadows. You can see here, the light doesn't quite get into here which is why you can see here right now, it cuts it off even more and then it kind of makes it into like a triangle shape. Now something that you can see firsthand happening right now is as the sun starts to rise, it will start to peek and peer through the cracks in, in so many different blocks. I am truly blown away with the power of what this offers and this thing right here just, it really did blow me away. And if we grab uh, this, and the, the more we open it, you can see here, the better it is. And even if you start to block it off, you can see here that it does start to fade down to, to this one. So that was incredible when I, f I seen that for the first time. Now, of course, everything's gonna be a lot brighter. It's kinda to make Minecraft look somewhat realistic. I think we all forget that this is just a blocky game that we all love and enjoy. You've probably seen it in the introduction and I can show you guys again with the boat, but it, what I love is the water. I have been nothing but impressed with how impressive it is. You can see the reflections, so you can see right there, that's the castle. And again, on the introduction, you did see me showing you guys the boat. And I'll show you from the other side, because it does seem to look to, to be a lot, a lot better. But the deeper you go, you can slowly start to see the transition from, from the light effect. Let's go down a little bit more. Of course, as you guys know, in oceans, the further you go down, the darker it becomes, because the light doesn't travel that far down. And that's something that I, I was massively impressed with on the introduction. I showed you the, the reflection, 
which is exactly this. It, it reflects in real time. It reflects absolutely perfectly. Not only that though, uh, if we grab, let's go with a squid, because I showed you guys uh, in the introduction, you'll even see that if we start spawning in a couple of these guys, that even their reflection starts to show. Now this does it for anyone. If I, if I go to this mode, and we get like a little bit closer, you can start to see on the water my reflection in, in real time as well. No delay. I'm, I'm running a solid 60 FPS, but the transition of when you leave and go into water, it's, it's mesmerizing. So I wanna show you as many different things as possible. At this point, I've set it to sunset. You can start to see the rays that go through the actual ship itself start to slowly disappear. And even the water, once again, it will start to change color. You'll probably notice from behind me as well that we have like a, an orangey effect, like a pinky effect as the sun starts to set and as it starts to disappear. It feels like real life. And <laughs> I'm just laughing and smiling to myself right now because the, the game I love has just become 10 times more beautiful. So I set the well to nighttime just to get a real feel of how the lights look and I noticed straight away that you have the reflection there and also the reflection there. The reflections, like this happens not just on water, anything like glass, anything like stained glass. Here's a very, very prime example right here, purple stained glass. Now this is sea lanterns and you'll even notice that the sea lanterns and the light itself goes through the leaves. And, I, oh, this is something I really enjoyed as well. Something so simple, like a blaze stand, the blaze rod. And you can see it on the back as well, the shimmer, the shine. I, I'm just mind blown with this thing. So what I did notice, and if we grab ourselves, uh, we'll grab ourselves some glowstone here as well. And I'll even grab myself, let's go with uh, a lantern as well. Just to give you guys a little bit of an experience of different kinds of lights in this. Because we will go to different worlds where they are somewhat different. And here's a little bit of an example here. This one is lanterns with the, I always forget what these are called. These are the end rods as well. But I wanna try and put these in a, in a darker place. <gasps> Yo, look at the reflection of that as well. All right, well, I wanna put these in a darker place just so you get a real feel of like the, the effect that they offer. So lanterns are phenomenal in this. In every single world you will see today, I guarantee you, you'll be nothing but impressed with how well and how good lanterns stand out. We also have glowstone. So there's, a, there's, there's different lights here. They offer different kinds of lights. I've always wanted to see more different lights in Minecraft. Specifically, I wanted to see different colored redstone lamps. I think that could be a, a great experience. Now, if we grab, let's get the creeper actually. Let's see what the creeper looks like. Hello friend, don't worry, don't worry. We put him right in the middle of both of them. How the creeper looks like. So the obviously the he's gonna keep following me, isn't he? <laughs> he's really really intrigued. Like, what are you up to there? Uh, I just I'm I'm impressed. This one obviously doesn't offer as much brightness as those ones, and then we've got the end rods as well. But all to do with the shadows because it doesn't see that. It acts like real light, and you can see again, like I showed you on the boat, you can see that it's it's bright here, and then starts to fade to darkness right there. So here's another example of how perfect light can be. We've got the torches, we've got the lanterns, which are enclosed. And by the way, when you open these, they will give some form of beam, which is <laughs> it's great. It's a shame there's not one there as well. Not only that though, we also have, I believe inside of here, these are glowstone. You can see the glowstone that is, is very, very shiny on the back. What are these? These are terracotta, which kind of act like marble with this, and then of course you've got the lanterns in, in the sky as well. Now what I will show you is I know I'm gonna have a lot of questions about many different light sources. So we'll grab ourselves some lava, but I, what I wanna do here is we'll grab ourselves a different stained glass. Let's go with like, let's go pink, because I, I know this pink was beautiful when it comes to this one. So we do one, two, three, four, and we put the lava in here. Now look at that. You're telling me that that is not beautiful. It looks evil. It looks all forms of evil. I love it. I love the reflections. If we just do something which probably do recommend doing in these kind of worlds, because they took a long time to create, it's just the, the, the thing that lava offers as well, as it slowly starts to come down, you can feel it starts to brighten up the world and make it a lot, a lot more vibrant. 
and I love the glow effect as well. This was by far my favorite world that I experienced when it comes to Minecraft RTX ray tracing because everything you need to know and see is based in this world. So whoever did create this, props to you. Now, in RTX at this moment, it looks like they've used terracotta as a very, very bright and vibrant block. So these over here being Minecraft, which does translate below you, by the way, and this is light uh, blue stained glass there as well. It, it looks, it does feel like actual shards of glass. The corners look incredibly sharp as well. And you can even see the effect as we go around the room. You can even see the reflection or something else, by the way, guys, you'll even see my reflection in the glass right there. But stick around in today's video because we have official mirrors in Minecraft. So we'll grab a couple of different colors here. Again, they've used terracotta as some form of bright light source in this one. Very, very, very neon in this one. And we'll grab some pink and we'll grab some of these. So these are very, very bright. And you'll start seeing the reflection. Hey, look, it's just a block. And if we go to F5, you'll actually see my character. <laughs> I love that. All right, so let's place down a couple of these. So we'll start with the blues. You can start to see the reflection straight away on the floor. And that, that is beautiful. Let me go to these ones. Now, these are quite bright. Oh, these, no, this is emerald. This is not quite terracotta. Ah, so that one's a little bit of a surprise there. So this is the lime. So these are bright. This is the orange. This is yellow. Oh, I love that. I love the fact that this, this looks like a nightlight. I love the very, very bright yellow there and then the dark shadows on the outside and then we've got red. Red is my personal favorite, but I have to admit green and yellow in this has definitely been my favorite. This kind of looks like, what I've noticed though is below, kind of looks like, you ever been, or ever seen those restaurants where they have like glass floors and you can see like the fish underneath them? And then what is this one as well? Because there's definitely something down here. That is a block of diamond. Now, that's a pleasant surprise. You're gonna have so many techno beacons in this world. So there's some different zones to go through and you can see straight away right here, the ray of light beaming onto the platform to say, hey, go here. So this is gonna open a lot of different things for Minecraft players. I think we'll start with this side. So this one is called room examples. And again, there's the example of the light. And if we go inside of this one as well, it's definitely, definitely incredible bright. And you can see the transitions as you start to fade away from them. I love that. So what do we have inside of here? We have set time to noon. So if we set time to noon and we go inside of here. Oh, dude. So you can see here, that's glowing through there. There's the fish tanks. Again, the blaze rods, the blaze stands for me, they have been absolutely incredible. Let's add, what happens if we add some of the colors in here? Ooh. Ooh. What happens if we do this? Yo. <laughs> Forget making it the way it is. We're turning it into a blue room. Now that is a thousand times better. What about the green one? Let's go lime. So forget about, wait, 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 let's, let's quickly switch this one. Nope, nope, there we go. Let's change it to lime. Full on green room. I love how just, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different blocks can change the whole entire ambience and feel of a room. Yo, I didn't even realize this. What a, oh, that's impressive. So the next part we have here is something you may have seen other YouTubers show you, but this is as you start to go towards the sun, you start to see the rays of light come through. This one, for example, is obviously like a, a train chat track and this gets incredibly bright and intensified. I think the blocks that they've used here, that's block of iron, yeah. So even the iron looks very different. And then we move towards the light and you can see the transition as, as, we, as my head starts to go into this. It becomes like this and yeah, well, the lights as well. Again, the terracottas, a block I never really use anymore is, is now the predominant fantastic one. I think at the bottom, it is just the sun. It just goes to show you, but what is this though? This is just light blue stained glass. Oh, you can, I, oh. Oh, I stood on the, the pressure plate. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one because it does get better. So this one is already like a red room. Now this is like a mini game. And this is something I really enjoyed with this map as well. It's because it's gonna be used for many different things. And if we just go to um, reset puzzle, what this does guys is 
It's going to open not just how beautiful Minecraft can look, but also options to use the light as like checkpoints, because it's a checkpoint. So when we stand on this one, that one lights up. And this is all done just with the light popping through and, and appearing on a specific spot. And that really did impress me. More than, more than probably most. Let's make sure we get this done. I don't want to look stupid on YouTube. But yeah, it, it impressed me the fact that there's so many different options that you're going to be able to use the light sources for. And you can see it here. That one beams from there. And we do end up opening a, a little area here. I'm not quite sure what was down here, though. Yeah, look at the pressure plate. There is one more room that I do want to show you, though, but look at that. Now, that is very, very impressive. It's, like, crystallized. Wait, is there a way? Can we can we make light come onto this? Ah, you can. You can see it changes. What it does... Ah, what this is doing is it's showing... Oh, I've noticed. It's the sun bouncing off different colors. Kind of like a rainbow effect. Now, that's the first time I've seen this. So everyone seems to offer a different thing. Let's change my uh, perspective. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. i never seen this. But it does show you the true form and how, and how much technology has gone into making this possible. Let's go this way. Oh, that's where that one was coming from. Where's this one coming from? I think this one's my favorite. That is beautiful. Yeah, you can see the light, normal color, bounces off this, changes into this, and then the outcome is that. It's all with the, the, the color spectrums. Now that is very impressive. I think it offers the same one with this one as well. It does. This one bounces off and makes it like pinkish, reddish. Oh, now that's cool. They're like disco lights. Now I'm in here. Very impressed. So when checking this on live stream, this was by far my favorite room. This is mirrors. These are mirrors. <laughs> now I'm, all, I'm a hand, but when I press F5, you can actually see my character. And we were messing around with, with, with within the corner like this. <laughs> and then turning around. But I made next, I made it even better. Because what we did is we grabbed this. And we filled this in. There we go. I showed you guys on social media. But these are official mirrors. Now, this one's using red nether brick as the mirror. Again, these are like resource packs. So it's going to open so many different options. There we go. So even the creeper is creeped out. It's like the Spider-Man meme. It's like, you. <laughs> He's like, yeah, what's going on? But again, there's two of us. It's, it's going to, if I can. There we go. Me and my creeper buddy. Now that right there. It's what I call technology. So this pack gives you an example of like cave systems. For example, the ambience effect that lava is going to offer inside caves. And I like that. It's going to brighten up caves a lot. But I will show you in some real worlds rather than showing you in, in a, a created world for this. To give you the actual experience as an ordinary Minecraft player. It's good me showing you these in these Minecraft worlds. Which don't get me wrong are absolutely fantastic. But I think I want to show you guys just in in ordinary worlds. Before we do that though, there is a couple more things that I do want to show you. And this one is also showing the reflections as well. So if I go through there and we look here, you can actually see it's me. It is me. I'm beautiful, right? I'm a beautiful giraffe. We grab this block though. Cause what block is this? This is red nether brick. And then we've got this one being glowstone. This one being diamond, emerald, this one's Lapis Lazuli, and I think this one's Redstone as well, yeah. But you can see, you can see they're like fighting each other to be the brightness of the room. It's definitely like a mood room. And then you've got the lighting effects here. I wonder if we do forward slash time set. Oh, I don't have cheats enabled. All right, well, we're going to change that. All right, guys, so here's a little bit of an example. If we do forward slash time set noon, and then we go back to time set day, you can see the difference. Obviously, for this specific world, they have this set to noon on purpose with the ability to change uh, your experience. Now, if you open this, you open more light, and you can see the reflections. You can see it right there. It fades away, and then you open it back up, and you can see the brightness again. You can definitely see a lot of people creating some incredible builds with this. Should we change this? Let's change. Let's grab you. 
Let's break this. A little bit sad that they're disrespecting the dragon egg. Oh, now that. Now that is a beautiful effect. There's another one there. Let's change this one to... Uh, come on. Oh! Dragon egg. Oops. I'm trying to... Oh, come on. I want to do a blue. There we go. Blue room. Blue room! I'm sold on the blue rooms. And what block is this one? Block of diamond. Let's change it to glowstone. Whoo! So around the back, we do have like a, a design facility to mess around with some different blocks. And I showed you guys, I showed you guys iron before, but I'll show you guys in a little bit more detail. So if we grab like a block, a block of iron, block of iron. I think this one has like a gle like a, a shine effect. Yeah, it really does. So I won't spend too much time in this room. It just gives you the option to mess around with uh, different lights. Again, the first pack was different from this one. I do want to spend a little bit of time checking one more and then I will go back to just ordinary survival. So for me personally, it's definitely the water and the shine effect that I am most impressed with. This one is a aqua map. But this, this, the water on this one looks 10 times better than the first one. So again, this just goes to show that there's going to be so many different options when it comes to ray tracing and RTX. There's gonna be so many different options for Minecraft players to mess around with and explore. And it's gonna be fantastic because you might like the previous water, but I might like this one. And I think that's quite important that there's many different options. You're not just gonna be locked down to one option. Now I wanna go and see this building because I can tell you one thing, that thing is absolutely incredible. You can even see here, look at my arm reflection. If we press F5 again, you can see here <laughs> the fadeaway effect as we slowly start to sink. Oh, now that transition was beautiful. Honestly, it is incredible. You definitely have to admire the time, the effort, the resources that have gone into making these things possible. Man, the patience people must have had to make something like this. So full credit. I'm going to do one thing though. What we're going to do is we're going to change this to forward slash time set night. We'll set it to night time. What I want to see is I think this might be water over here as well. Oh, look at that. Look at the reflections during night time as well. It's only starting just to, to go night time. But if we do forward slash time set noon, what does it look like? Oh, it's that bright. You have to be a little bit higher in terms of water to see this this properly. So we're gonna go to just an ordinary Minecraft world just to show you guys how you would be playing and experiencing these packs in just your ordinary game experience. So hopefully if you're watching this, you are a fan of my underground Minecraft series. The pack that I'm using in this one is called Muddled or Muddle, which is created by uh, Razzleberry. This is my legit survival world, and this is the kind of feel that you're gonna get from this. Now again, they are kind of like resource packs, so each pack will offer a different experience, and we'll try and check out one or two of them. The best feel that you will get from this one, though, is when going this way, you really do get the sense of that I am living in an underground world. And you can see the big difference here, because the torches here, they then go from dark to light, dark to light, and the transition effect is, is, is fantastic. I probably said fantastic and real beautiful a million times today. And I, until you guys experience this for yourself, which I'm hoping a lot of you guys will be, you, <laughs> you gotta believe me, is all I can say. So we'll go through some of my major, my main rooms in this one. Uh, we have my farm room here with my bees. And here's a good example with this one, because in this one, I've got redstone lights. And you can really see how they do bright up the room. And if we take this out, you'll then see how this brightens things up a little bit more. And you can see on top of here as well, so if you look at the difference there, and if we put this back on, this kind of goes back to darkness. But there's a couple more rooms that I think look a lot better with this pack. Unfortunately, this room is incredibly dark, but the reflections from the slabs on the ceiling, you can see there, because this is a, a glowing furnace. Ooh, the redstone rails look incredible there. You've got, I think that's glowstone that we have there with the rails. Unfortunately, the chicken's got the, un the unlucky side with lava. And then we go into my main room, and this this is what everything looks like. Now that's water, by the way, not glass. And that is my bedroom. 
with a couple of lights. We've got redstone lamps, redstone lamps, and I've even got uh, a small fireplace going on here as well, so you can see. You're telling me that doesn't look beautiful? You'd be lying. We would all be lying. It looks absolutely fantastic. Ooh. The wither skull with uh, a redstone lamp looks really good too. I haven't really checked the water too much, so let's go inside of here. Oh, look at that. It's like crystallized. Wait, it's better in... It's definitely better in this, this position. Oh. It's the first time I've had like the sun beam through into my world as well. Beautiful. And then, of course, in the tree farm, I used a lot of redstone lamps and lanterns. So you really do get a sense of it. Now, again, I, I've been massively impressed, guys. If you were able to run this, you have to experience this for yourself. I'm a big fan of the, the amount of different options that are available. I might do a second video on this. I might do some more live streams on this. Again, a big thank you to MSI for making today's video possible because without them, I would not be recording this to show you guys how incredible Minecraft ray tracing is. So have a great day, stay beautiful, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.